Allah, Allah, you are my own, you are my love. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my dear brothers and respected sisters in Islam in Hong Kong, London, and Zurich. This is Walid Abdul Hakim, and insha'Allah ta'ala, I'm coming to your city in the next three weeks to teach Tafsir Surah Maryam. Now, together, subhanAllah, Surah Maryam is the only surah in the Quran that has the name of a woman on it. And you would think, subhanAllah, people who say that the Prophet ﷺ, he's the one who wrote the Quran, that if he wrote it, we would have Surah Khadija, Surah Aisha, Surah Fatima. But in fact, this is the only woman in the history of humankind that has her name on a surah. Why? So that's something we're going to learn together, insha'Allah ta'ala. When you look at the surah, and I know when we hear the name of Surah Maryam, some of the brothers think, oh, okay, this is probably just for the sisters, but no. Surah Maryam, in fact, there is 12 messengers of Allah who are mentioned in it. And the surah starts with Zakaria alayhi salam, the uncle-in-law of Maryam alayhi salam. And we will learn in the beginning the art of making dua from Zakaria alayhi salam. What are the things that I could do? One, two, three, four, ten. That would increase the chances of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepting my dua. And then the rest of the surah is something that we Muslims, who are a minority among a non-Muslim majority, we will see the issues that we deal with in this surah. For example, Maryam alayhi salam, we will learn together the gender relationship in Islam. And then we look at the birth of Isa alayhi salam and how to give da'wah to people of the book. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself is the one who's giving them da'wah in this surah. What are the techniques that we could use to convince them that of Isa alayhi salam, that he was a messenger and not a god? And then subhanAllah, that's just one segment of da'wah, okay? And then we have the second type of da'wah, which is da'wah to the people who are idol worshippers. And we will see Ibrahim alayhi salam and how he was giving da'wah to his father, an idol worshipper. And subhanAllah, we will learn the techniques from Ibrahim alayhi salam, how to give da'wah to idol worshippers and to parents. You know something, a major issue, a lot of questions that come, how can I give da'wah to my father, to my mother, to my uncle, you know, if they're all, we're going to learn that from Ibrahim alayhi salam. And then we go through the messengers, and then the last part of the surah also, is how to give da'wah to people who are atheists, who don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You will see Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talking to them, giving them examples of how they do not believe in the resurrection, for example. And we will go together through the stages of Yawm Al-Qiyamah and learn about it in this surah. So subhanAllah, many deep tafsir we're going to learn, alhamdulillah, we included comparative tafsir from 20 references in this book. We're going to learn all that. And this is a very applicable course that we would apply in our life. So I'm looking forward to see you there, inshallah ta'ala. Please share this with your friends and family and invite them all to come so that we could improve our life in these applicable issues. Barakallahu feekum. Jazakumullah khairan. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allah, Allah, you are my own. You are my love. Words can't describe my love for you Allah, Allah.